Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us today. My name is Leon Wilson, and I'm the executive principal for both Lambeth Academy and the Hurlingham Academy. I know how busy everyone's been over the last few weeks, and this is a very stressful time for parents in choosing the right secondary school for their children. Lambeth Academy has been transformed over the last three years. I fell in love with the school three years ago. The students are amazing. We have great teachers at this school. I want to assure you today that this is the right school for your children. Ms. Welch, our new principal, will be talking to you about the work that we've done over the last three years. We both take this responsibility very, very seriously if you decide to send your child to Lambeth Academy. I want to ensure that your children get the best possible education so they can go on and live fulfilled lives. COVID-19 has taken away Lambeth's best selling point. Before COVID, parents could turn up at any time to see our school in action. No other school in Lambeth Borough could offer this. We were so confident in what we were doing that we know you would have seen fantastic teaching, great learning, great interaction. Students are extremely happy at this school. This is a new school, and I'm really, really excited that you've joined us today to be part of this family. I want to make sure that every pupil who comes through the gates at Lambeth, teachers, support staff, everyone know that they can achieve and believe in every single pupil. I want you to use the opportunity that COVID has presented because the problem we've had in the past where all schools were having open evening, everyone would go along and for one day, parents were making a decision based on one evening that they've seen. You want to make sure you choose the right school. Use this opportunity. Check the results on school's website. Try and visit. We are the only school, I think, in Lambeth that's going to allow parents to come in and see what we're doing. And Ms. Welch will talk a little bit more about that. But more importantly, you want to choose the school where your child's going to be successful, where they're going to be happy, and where they're going to learn to be very good citizens. I'm not going anywhere. Ms. Welch isn't going anywhere. We will be here until your children get to year 13. And we're, that's a promise we're making today. Lambeth has been transformed and I want you to be part of our journey. So I'm gonna hand over to Ms. Welch, but before I do so, we have the chat function available. I have members of the senior team who are on hand to answer questions. So throughout the presentation, if you have questions that you'd like to ask, type those in the chat function and we will reply to those. I will now hand over to Ms. Welch, our principal. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Wilson. I would like to extend my very warm welcome to you all. My name is Amy Welch and I am the head teacher at Lambeth Academy. I'm absolutely thrilled to have the opportunity to talk to you about our school, a school which I'm immensely proud of and one that I know would give your child an exceptional education. I'm going to start with a little bit about me. I previously worked at Paddington Academy for eight years this is a really high performing, Ofsted outstanding school where I learned an incredible amount. I learned what it strives means to strive for beyond outstanding in a school. I was also shown that amazing things can be achieved even when students face many barriers to success. I joined Lambeth Academy in September 2018 as a vice principal and have been part of the leadership team who, along with the staff, have worked hard to transform the school into the high achieving, exciting and dynamic place that it is now. This was achieved through adopting a new teaching and learning approach, focusing on a no excuses behaviour system and high expectations in all that we do. What drives me is the ambition that all Lambeth Academy students receive the same high quality education that I would want for my daughter. The quality of education that students get in fee paying schools and the quality of education that every child deserves. I know what an important choice this is for you all. I know that each child only has one shot at an education. 
I ask you to put your trust in me because we will deliver for your child the highest academic outcomes and an education with character. How will I ensure the best for your child? The way I work is to be visible at all times, to be there for students and staff, whatever they need. I visit lessons every single day in order to quality assure standards of teaching and learning. My door will always be open to you as parents because your feedback is what will move us to outstanding and beyond. I will always work collaboratively, students, staff and parents all working towards a common goal and that is the best outcomes for your children. What makes Lambeth special? I asked some of the parents of our current students and I will share their responses. The warmth and care for my child and the quality of relationships between staff and students. The feeling of calm as you walk around the school. Exciting enrichment opportunities. A belief that everyone can achieve. A sense of community all working towards a common goal. Extremely well behaved students. An opportunity to study three languages, French, Spanish and Mandarin and triple science. And I have to say we have a great track record of success in uh, these subjects in terms of results. Teachers who go far and beyond what is expected to make sure my child achieves. Disruption free learning, zero tolerance so all can achieve their best. An online platform for homework so I can track what my child is doing. And I know it might seem like a way off now, but in the year that your, your child will be studying their GCSEs, we offer five nights of extra lessons every single evening. Now, if you were to pay privately for this level of tutoring, it would cost £150 a week. But that is a commitment that we make to our students to make sure they achieve the best possible outcomes. I'm so proud of all that we have achieved at Lambeth Academy over the last couple of years. Being rated good by Ofsted in February is a testament to the hard work and commitment shown by staff and students thus far. However, I'm equally excited by the potential that our school holds. I know there is still much more that we can go on to achieve and you as parents would be an integral part of this journey to outstanding. Our vision for Lambeth Academy is a school with a reputation for improving the life chances of young people through both excellent academic achievement and education with character. We want to be a best practice school for teaching and learning and we believe that we are already well on the way to achieving this with our innovative Lambeth lesson structure which has been widely shared and praised. We want to expose our students to experiences that shape their character and instill values such as resilience, integrity and self-discipline. We want to offer a world-class enrichment programme at the heart of our school community is a commitment to excellence and a drive for continuous improvement. This is founded on a belief that given the right support, all young people can succeed at the highest level. All children only have one shot at an education. We therefore have high aspirations for all of our students and high expectations of them. We don't make excuses and we break down all barriers for our students to ensure that they achieve. Year 13 results day was an incredibly proud day for me. 93% of our students were offered a place at university and the remaining 7% it was through choice that they didn't attend. With 40% of our students attending some of the best universities across the country. Sharon was awarded an extremely well deserved A star AA and has been awarded a place at King's College London to fulfil her dream of studying astrophysics. Daniela, who you can also see in the photo, is heading to University College London to study geophysics. Kelly and Plemody have secured places at the incredibly competitive University of Birmingham. And Kaylee has opted to begin an apprenticeship in social work, another highly competitive course demonstrating her commitment to the community. Year 11 results day, this really was one of the best days of my career. It felt like the culmination of three years of hard work. And this picture really captures the emotion of the day. This is just one example of many students who left with grade nines. Our results show that our teachers really understand what they need to do to ensure students achieve the very top grades. We are not content with students leaving with grades five and six. We want all of our students striving for the highest grades. 
our results are going up year on year. And so by the time your children are doing their GCSEs, I truly believe our school will be delivering the best outcomes in Lambeth. Our GCSE grades, as I've said, are on an upward trajectory and your child will reap the benefits of this year on year improvement. Our school has the second highest Progress 8 score out of schools in the local area. A positive Progress 8 score means that our students achieve higher grades compared to the average of all other students across the country. This is something that we are very proud of and we anticipate an even higher score this year. And this reinforces what Mr Wilson said about really taking time to engage with the data of each school so that you know what you're signing up to. I'm now going to share with you a few co uh, quotes from our students who thank their teachers on GCSE Results Day. I think it's worthwhile just spending a moment um, reflecting on the framework for excellence under which we work. We're very lucky to be part of the United Learning Trust of Schools, which is an incredibly successful trust with academies and schools all across the country. Starting with the best in everyone, we expect the best from everyone all the time. Who can know the limits of any child's potential? So we constantly challenge children to do what they think they can't, to persist, to work hard and to be at their best. We expect the same from every adult, to be determined and resilient and have the highest expectations of themselves and the children they work with. Powerful knowledge means exposing our young people to the best that has been thought and said, to teach them the things they would not learn outside school, which free them to think and act more powerfully in their lives. Inspiring teaching is what gives access to difficult concepts and the thrill of intellectual discovery. Powerful knowledge is not static, it includes the ability to critique, challenge the status quo, think and learn. Education with character. There is more to a good education than exam passes. We aim to develop character, compassion and service. Young people are expected to contribute to their school and to society, to try things which they think they cannot do, to persist in the face of difficulty, to become resilient in overcoming obstacles, to manage themselves, to work independently on things which challenge them, to work with others and in teams, to be courageous and caring, to lead. Leadership in every role. Well, we know that our children are leaders of the future and they are treated that way. We expect them to start from year seven, taking advantage of every opportunity to lead and take responsibility for themselves and others. Every adult in the school is also a leader. In every word, tone and gesture, we set direction and expectation and we take this responsibility very seriously. We demand the highest standards and act with integrity to do what is right for our children at all times. Continuous improvement. However good we are, we can always be better. We constantly look for improvements and implement them with pace. We steal good ideas with pride and look to make them better. We work together to improve. I'm now going to share with you a few quotes from our most recent Ofsted report and we were visited in February for two days. I'm particularly proud of the way Ofsted commented on our excellent enrichment programme. We give students lots of opportunities outside of lessons to engage in extra and super curricular activities. And all of these are really exciting opportunities that we help contribute to the well-rounded education um, that our students receive.
At Lambeth Academy, our mission is that students will be exceptional and have the ambition, drive and opportunity to climb the mountain to the best universities and professions. We are unapologetically ambitious for every child, no matter what their background, prior attainment or needs. Every decision is made with the best interests of the students at heart. High quality teaching and learning is at the centre of our success. We encourage students to take responsibility for their own learning to achieve their full potential. And we know that sometimes we have to believe in the students even when they don't believe in themselves. We are here to help your children climb the mountain to university. We use this analogy because the school journey, like the journey up a mountain, is not always easy and sometimes students will find the journey steep. But if they want to reach the goal, we keep reminding them they have to keep climbing and be determined to continue. We want each of our students to be successful, but they will have to work hard every single day in order to achieve it. It is really important to us that all of our students have freedom of choice over their future when they leave us. In order to guide our students, we have a full-time careers officer on site and she has an incredible depth of knowledge about university options and pathways. She is able, right from year seven, to work closely with our students to support them on their journey up the mountain. We also have a special Russell Room Library which is dedicated as a space to learn more about universities, careers and also to read beyond the subject curriculum that is covered in the classroom. Students right from Year 7 are able to use this room and are encouraged to be proactive in planning their future. We have three values at Lambeth Academy for students and staff to live by. We believe that demonstrating these values will enable our students to climb the mountain to university and they are commitment to progress, excellence in thinking and honourable leadership. Commitment to progress. We believe that students achieve greatness only by working hard and what commitment to progress means to us is being resilient and overcoming obstacles and the key message is in order to be better today than, we, than you were yesterday. We ask students to commit to maximum effort at all times, to try things they think they cannot do and to persist in the face of difficulty in order to constantly improve. We aim to expo expose students to the best that has been thought and said in order to achieve excellence in thinking. We ask students to use all learning time effectively. We want to develop in students the ability to critique, challenge the status quo, think and learn at the highest level. And I promise you, if you send your children here, they will receive inspiring teaching at our school, which will give them access to difficult concepts and the thrill of intellectual discovery. Honourable leadership involves students acting as role models for the school and displaying integrity at all times. This means doing the right thing because it is who you are and because it is a part of your character. We aim to develop character, compassion and service, and we expect our students to make a contribution both to our school and to society. We believe that our students are the leaders of the future and we expect them right from year seven to take advantage of every opportunity to lead and to take responsibility for themselves and others. Teaching and learning really does sit at the heart of everything we do. We know that our students <clears throat> make exceptional progress when they are placed in front of outstanding teachers and we know that that is the deal that our students are getting day in day out at Lambeth Academy. We have very strict lesson routines and teachers plan their lessons according to the Lambeth lesson structure which means there is real consistency of student experience from classroom to classroom. We love to see our teachers day in, day out, showing our students that there is nowhere they would rather be at that given moment than standing in front of our students teaching a subject that they are hugely passionate about. We are really proud of our ambitious, broad and balanced curriculum, particularly the offer of three languages. This is a curriculum that will set the students up for academic success and will help them to climb that mountain to university. We offer an after school prep session for year seven students, which encourages good homework habits and independent learning skills. This is similar to the prep schemes run by fee paying schools and we believe has a significant positive impact on the students progress. The Lambeth Promise is a series of enrichment activities that we believe are important to ensure that our students have the right cultural capital to help them to climb the mountain to the best universities and professions. This is a unique selling point for our school and a really valuable experience for the students.
And here you can see a few pictures showing the Lambeth Promise in action. We are 100% school. Now, what do I mean by that? This school is the strictest school in the Lambeth Borough. We expect our students to behave better, work harder and do more homework than at lots of other schools. We are strict because we want the absolute best from your child and for your child, and we know they are capable of doing their very best. We will always expect our students to do all of these things because we know that they will that will lead to success for them. The most important thing in our school and the reason why the school exists is learning. Every decision that we make as teachers in this school is about what is going to make learning better for our students and to help them make the most progress. Because learning is so important, we remove any distractions that stop our students from learning. And this is where we'd love to get you into our classroom so that you can really see this in action. We always tell our students that to be successful, they have to work hard all of the time. There are no shortcuts to being successful. If they waste time, they will not be as successful as they need to be. If their time is wasted by others, they will also not be successful. This is why we say that every lesson at our school must be free from disruption all of the time. We don't allow disruption to lessons in this school and we are very strict about it. The reason for this is that our students only spend 10% of their time in a year in school in a lesson. If we think about their day, it has 24 hours in it, but they only have five hours of time in lessons each day. Then take out the weekends and holidays and you can see that there's actually very little time left. The thing that will make the biggest difference to your child's success is the time that they spend in front of a qualified teacher. It is precious and must be protected at all costs. A recent survey of teachers and students by the government of every school in the country showed that an average of one hour a day is lost because of disruption. This adds up to a half a term every year and would mean that a student lost nearly a whole year of education during their time at this school if we let that happen here. We cannot let this steal your precious education from your child. If a student is disrupting lessons at Lambeth Academy, they will receive a warning and on a second warning, they will be out of lessons for a whole day. This ensures that teachers are free to teach and students are able to work and learn in a calm and disruption free classroom. We were particularly proud when Ofsted commented that during their two day visit in February, they did not observe one instance of off task behaviour or low level disruption. And they commented that they'd never experienced this in any of the schools that they'd visited. We recognise the importance of praise as well as discipline when developing character. And there's just a few examples of the rewards that we use on the slide now. We aim to celebrate success at all times and we find that this acts as a great motivator for our students. And this will remain really, really important part of our ethos. This school is an amazing place where students will get a lot of opportunities and we will celebrate their success at all times. This is a very successful school with brilliant teachers and hardworking students. There is a reason this school is so successful and it is because of how everybody works so well together and supports each other, both staff and students. What we say to our students all the time is that we are going to help them turn into the most successful students in the UK and we really hope that your child will become a part of this. And I just want to allay some of your fears. If you put us as first choice, it doesn't matter where you live, you will get a place at Lambeth Academy and I promise you it will be a choice that you won't regret. I also want to advertise our really successful summer activity programme, which is a fully funded programme that takes place during the summer holidays before your child would join us all day with lunch provided for three weeks. Students learn about the academy. They're able to make friends and participate in a range of fun and educational activities. And I don't know of any other schools in the borough that offer this exciting opportunity. I would encourage you to spend a bit of time on our virtual open evening page where we have some excellent videos, a virtual learning walk and lots of interviews with subject leaders and other key staff to give you a bit more of a flavour about the school. I would also encourage you to follow us on Twitter at Lambeth Academy. Now, lots of schools, including ours, are putting on a show for you tonight and for their open evenings and a series of open mornings. And that's great. But what you really need to do is get underneath the skin of a school. 
We have a virtual learning walk video for you to peruse at your leisure, but I also encourage you to book an appointment for a tour, which will be led by me. You can do this through our website. I would love you to see us in action. Nothing staged and no pretense, just the quality of education that we are delivering day in and day out, one that we are hugely proud of. I'd like to thank you very much for listening. And now we're going to take any questions that you may have. I think we're going to hear from Mr. Mathashaw, who's a member of our senior team who has been monitoring the chat box for our questions. That's right. Um, thank you so much for all your questions. If you have any others, please just post them and um, Mr. Wilson or I will uh, try and answer them or we'll pose them to Mrs. Welch. Um, so the first question, Mrs. Welch, is um, two things really. What has happened to improve the school over the last three years and what are we going to continue to do to make sure it improves for the next five to ten years? That's a really excellent question. So I'd say the two, um, well, three, the three crucial things are, first of all, behaviour needed to be improved. There were too many students whose education was being disrupted because of other students' behaviour in the classroom. We have completely eliminated that. When you come and look around our lessons, you will observe calm, focused, often silent learning environments. And then alongside that, we've worked on the teaching and learning strategies and we've really invested in all of our teachers to make sure that they're outstanding practitioners. And I don't want you to go away thinking that it's some sort of robotic environment where the students sit in, sit in absolute silence. There's a real warmth and a real energy and enthusiasm about the school. And what the high standards of behaviour management allow the teachers to do is to have that calm environment, that platform from which their passion for the subject can be sort of can really shine through. And the teachers, uh, sorry, the students can actually start to get excited about their learning. So we've got the no excuses behaviour policy, we've got the real drive in standards in terms of teaching and learning and then we've got leadership at every level and our value of honourable leadership, that staff, that students ev and parents, everybody taking responsibility to be role models, to be acting with integrity and now we've got our values, we've got this common narrative running through really explicitly day in day out, every conversation we have with a student it can be linked back to the values. And then the final thing I'd like to say is I like to think we've really raised the aspirations of our students. We've made them believe what they're really capable of in a way that they didn't used to believe. And that's one of our most exciting things to see some of the year 13s leaving now, going to these really exciting destinations and realising that if they come to Lambeth Academy, anything is possible. And in terms of the next five to 10 years, we are looking at um, this year, excitingly increasing the number of Oxbridge candidates, um, students going to Russell Group universities, um, increasing the enrichment offer. I said we want a world class enrichment programme, you know, and that's really what I want to do. I want to emulate or better the experience that children would get if they were going to a fee paying school. You know, I may be biased, but I have to say, I think the quality of teaching and learning in this school at the moment is better than what you'd get at a fee paying school. But I want to make sure that the whole experience really um, is at that level. Great, thank you. Um, linked to that, um, there was a question around uh, what have Ofsted suggested that we do to make the school outstanding? Yep, yeah, so um, one of the things was around um, independence. So at the moment, the uh, students are so receptive to their teachers and they work really dynamically in the classroom um, to really build that understanding together. And in terms of our next stage of development, it's really making sure that that translates into when the students are doing their independent work. So what do we put in place to make sure that the students have, a, have as much confidence in their independent writing and problem solving as they do when they're constructing that understanding with the teacher? <laughs> um, and I think that's probably the biggest area. And the other thing was making sure that we're really developing in our students an ability to self-regulate. So just making sure, you know, it's great in a classroom um, when the students understand the really sort of tight routines and um, uh, yeah, the tight routines. But what we want of the students is that integrity. They're doing the right thing because it's part of their character. They're self-regulating. So they're not doing something because they want to avoid a detention. They're doing something because they have got that strength of character and they know it's the right thing to do. 
Fantastic. Um, Linked to what you're saying there as well around the way that we deal with um, disruption in lessons, how do we work to reintegrate a student who's been sent out of the classroom? That's a really great question. Um, so the reintegration progress, uh, sorry, process as part of our no excuses behaviour policy is probably the most important part of the process and it's where we place the most attention. So after a student gets sent out from lessons, they are in the reflection room and they complete a pack to reflect on their behaviour and identify where they went wrong. And there are certain non-negotiables for the teacher. So the teacher will come down on that same day, they will read the letter of apology they will read the reflection and they will have a restorative conversation with that student so that they can uh, have a blank slate after that. The student can go back to lessons after their time in the reflection period is over, but it actually shifts a negative into a positive and they go back um, into that classroom um, having sort of had their restorative with the teacher, identified what they need to do better and it can actually be a really positive experience. Now, obviously, if we have repeat offenders in the reflection room, we have a variety of supportive measures that we put in place to sort of reintegrate them. But I have to say, since the introduction of the reflection room, we found that students have really raised the game in terms of their behaviour. And students who before the system was implemented were actually really struggling with their behaviour. We've seen them completely transform the way they're behaving in lessons. And I think it's just because the students have got that absolute certainty about what is and what isn't acceptable. So they don't even try and cross the line because they know exactly what will happen if they do. And it has really transformed the behaviour in the school. And um, what do we do to support student mental health and well-being at the school? And um, that's a really great question as well. Um, our inclusion uh, department have a wealth of programmes. We've got mentoring, we've got anxiety support groups, we've got a wealth of support groups. Actually, one, if ever we identify um, a particular need, then we will um, put in place uh, a support group. For example, a student could come and say, you know, I'm feeling really anxious before exams. So we'll put in place support groups for anxiety, for managing your time and organising your work workload for how to revise. So we work very responsively with our SENCO and with our assistant principal for inclusion to make sure that we're actually meeting the demands of, of, of the students. But we do um, also work very closely with CAMS. We have a system where some of our staff are being trained by CAMS so that they can run a programme called Safe Space so that they know how to have really effective conversations with students who are struggling with their mental health. Um, there, there is lots more that I could tell you about but I'd, I'd be happy to get in touch more directly to uh, to give you a more detailed breakdown um, of, of what we do. Um, great um, somebody um, has asked can we comment on um, staff turnover and retention and what is the continuity of learning for for children if that happens? Yeah, I mean, I'd say staff turnover is hugely, hugely decreasing. Um, I think we only had seven new members of staff join us um, this year, which and, and these are uh, these are part of the United Teaching Programme. So there's great consistency there. Really good question about continuity. We've worked really hard to develop our curriculum in line with our teaching and learning. We wanted them to improve at the same rate. Now we have learning maps that are really carefully specified and therefore it doesn't matter whether your child moves classes or from when they progress to one year to another or whether their teacher changes because that can, continuity will always be there and one of the great things about our curriculum is we give teachers a huge amount of time to work together as departments to make sure their curriculum is the best it can be they discuss how it's best to teach individual concepts and then they all go out and teach it that way so that consistency of student experience is so important and for that reason it can be guaranteed. Excellent. Um, I just wondered what does the school have in place for students who have learning difficulties or disabilities and can we assure parents that students who do have learning difficulties and disabilities that they get the same deal as students who do not? 
we have an absolutely wonderful inclusion department and I would really urge you if this was your question to book an appointment with me and I will introduce you to Miss Carnham, to Miss O'Regan, to our, our amazing team of learning support assistants who do wonderful work across the board with children with such, uh, such varied needs. You know, inclusivity is a huge, huge priority. We will support students to break down any barriers that they may have to their learning and you know it's really hard for me to to sit here and to to explain all of the things that we do we support students in class we withdraw students there is just such a huge wealth of work that goes into that that I would really urge you to book in uh, to come and have a meeting with me um, and we can show you the inclusion team both in action and also we can get you a meeting with the Senko. Great and um, there's been two questions asking around musical instruments and whether or not we feel for year seven um, that we would want them to learn an instrument and whether or not we would choose the instrument or whether or not the student would choose the instrument. Um, this is an area I'm really passionate about. Um, we, we are lucky enough to have um, a parent who was sort of impressed enough with the school and generous enough to donate a large sum of money to the school and we're looking at the moment about how uh, we're going to spend that money and one of our ideas is looking at an offer of peripatetic lessons for year seven. Uh, you know we talked about that rich cultural experience um, and the cultural capital so this is something I'm, I'm looking into at the moment and I'm really passionate about. Um, if we were to run this scheme um, which I'm hopeful for um, then I'd love for students to be able to choose their own instruments. Great, thank you very much Ms. Welch, that's everything. That's great. And um, I would just like to take this final opportunity to say, you know, we, we are obviously putting on the best possible show that we can for you tonight. Um, I would really, really urge you um, to make an appointment to come in to meet me face to face, socially distanced, of course, um, and for me to show you around this school. I am hugely, hugely proud of. And I feel like you can only really get a sense of how far we've come and what we're about by seeing it for yourselves. So thank you very, very much. Do take time to have a look, a proper look around the website. Um, engage with our Twitter, uh, keep in touch and we really, really appreciate your time. So thank you very much and have a great evening.